Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and I am very excited because we are looking at a brand new display. This is the LG Ultra Fine 32 inch 4K Ergo display. This is the 32UN880 if you know it by its more proper name, but it is a 4K 32 inch display that supports HDR10 and works over USB-C. This thing is slick and I am really excited to show you everything that it can do. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and set up. Now first up, this does mount differently. It's not on a normal stand that sits on your desk. It comes with a C-clamp that can go right around the back and then just gets twisted into position. Very easy to install and set up. Now if your table is really thin, like ours, and it doesn't tighten anymore, luckily it can be adjusted. You can move these screws up to make it tighter for even thinner desks, or it can be moved down if you have an exceptionally thick desk, which is very handy because it can be mounted on all sorts of different surfaces. And what we were even more excited about was that we can mount this in the hole on our desk. The one that's used to kind of hide cable, shuttle those cable through, you can actually use that to mount this monitor stand. It's really easy to do, you simply remove the existing C-clamp and add this one on instead. And then you're just going to go ahead and put it through the hole, then add this disc, and the uh, tightener part here, this little wrench part, and just screw everything down. Obviously in my case, we put those on early, so we'll remove those, put it into the hole on our desk, and then go ahead and tighten everything up. It was so easy to do. We got this thing up and running within just a few minutes. That kind of versatility is going to come into play big with the LG Ergo monitor. Once you have everything installed there, it's very easy to actually install and clip on with just one person. We go ahead and take our monitor, line it up easily enough, and then go ahead and snap it into place. Once it was snapped in, we were ready to go, ready to connect the monitor to our Mac. And we tested this with two different Macs, our Mac Pro as well as our 15-inch MacBook Pro. Just to hit a few, again, of the high-level specs, this is a 31.5-inch UHD 4K monitor, 3840 by 2160 IPS display with HDR10 support, as well as 95% of the P3 wide color gamut. Aside from having that gorgeous display, what really separates it out is its ergonomics and its ability to be moved around. You can see the swivel arm here in the back. The whole back post is able to rotate around, allowing for just a huge degree of... Uh, point of use for the monitor. The cables are also easily managed. You can see the included cables have these little stoppers on them and they actually get fed down through the back tube, making them very easy to tuck away so you don't have a bunch of cables kind of lying about. So you just open up the top, it just pops right off, feed them down the back with, after you remove this little kind of slide here, it just comes right out. Uh, put them in, connect them to the back of the monitor, and then run them down. It gives enough slack so that the monitor can easily be moved about, up, down, rotated, twisted, uh, tilted, everything, without those cables becoming unplugged, and then they just run down the back of the pole. Uh, that slide goes back in again to hold those cables in place so they're not going to move about. Now, since it does support USB-C, you, you can connect that USB-C cable and run everything that way, including the USB ports uh, and the headphone jack on the back of this monitor. So let's look a little bit of how this thing can move. Here we have obviously our stand up in the air, boom, it just slides right down. Very easy, especially from the front, just to grab the sides of the monitor and slide it up and down. It is very well balanced, even though it did take us kind of a second to be able to jostle it into that moving position, but it moves easily up and very close down to the bottom of the table. There's a huge degree of tilting as well. Uh, it can pull out from the wall a ton, so you can really bring it closer if you have to inspect everything, push it back if you need to. Uh, it fits on very large desks that way. Uh, you can see we're able to rotate this cleanly to all sides, all the way around this way as well as all the way around that way. You have just so many points of movement on the stand between going up and down, swiveling, tilting. The monitor can even be rotated and we'll show that off in just a few moments. So we've been so impressed with this and there's all these different studies about how an ergonomic monitor, ergonomics in general, create more productive and happy employees. If they're comfortable, they're going to be able to work more and that's kind of the idea behind this. Is it just such a healthy, happy monitor to use uh, aside just in comfort and how it looks. Now as far as connectivity goes, we have a few different ports here to look at on the back. The top left, of course, we have that USB-C port. That's going to be hugely important. You can power the entire display. Um, well, not power it. You still have a power cord there, but run everything over that USB-C, including the data ports here on the back. We have two USB-A. There are two 
HDMI ports, a display port, headphone jack, and that power cable. We like to run this over USB-C and when we connect our MacBook Pro, that's what we're using, but for our Mac Pro on a standing desk, we needed an even longer cable than include in the box. So we just connected that HDMI cable for the moment. Now one thing that we weren't huge fans of is the control of the monitor. So everything is driven by a small joystick that sits on the underside of the monitor, right below that LG logo. You kind of press it into OK, and then it can move up, down, left, and right. When you go ahead and uh, push it side to side, that'll immediately adjust the volume, so it's quick to adjust the volume that way. But unfortunately, you can't control the volume from your Mac. So those volume keys on your keyboard, those aren't going to work. And that's whether you're using HDMI or USB-C. There are two 5-watt speakers on this thing, and honestly, they don't sound that great we're definitely going to recommend finding some better speakers. Otherwise, you can press on it to open the controls to switch picture mode, jump in settings, or change the input. It's still kind of awkward and a little bit weird to push around. We still wish there was some easier, better way to do this kind of stuff. I wish more of it could be controlled through the Mac, like ones that are designed to be used more closely with Macs specifically, where you can change things like the brightness and the volume right from your Mac's touch bar. That is really what we prefer, and unfortunately, they just don't do that here. It also doesn't support other things that you would expect on a Mac monitor, such as True Tone or Night Shift, like the ultra-fine displays that Apple sells in its store. Those were designed in conjunction with Apple to support things like True Tone and Night Shift and being able to control uh, the brightness and everything else from your Mac itself. So that is one downside to this monitor versus the other LG ultra-fines that Apple sells or something that Apple makes, uh, just like the incredibly expensive uh, Pro Display XDR. Still, this display is absolutely stunning. We love it. It has a great pixel density of 140 PPI. Uh, now, that is below Apple's like 21 inch and 27 inch iMacs, which come in at 218 PPI and 217 PPI, but those displays are smaller than this, so you're going to be seeing a little bit closer. With a proper distance from here, based on our math, this still can qualify as a retina display, which just means you can't really discern the picture when you're sitting at a normal distance away. Other benefits here, because it is USB-C, when it is connected to a portable Mac, such as our MacBook Pro, it can deliver up to 60 watts of power here, so we can charge our Mac at the same time while powering up that monitor. Just one less cable that you have to have on your desk. I still would have liked to see additional USB-C ports on the back of the display, but maybe that's just me griping. As far as the display itself goes inside of settings, this can be rotated inside of the Mac. So if we want to rotate this, you can go 270 degrees as I believe is the proper uh, turn of this, and then it can be used vertically. So if you have anything that you're doing vertically, anything that's code, dealing with a lot of PDFs, uh, just anything that's long and vertical, this monitor is great for that. It's so easy just to rotate around, rotate it in Mac OS, and boom, you have a vertical monitor as well as your horizontal monitor on your MacBook Pro. Very few monitors support everything that Apple has to offer. Things like True Tone, Night Shift, uh, better speakers, and just the ability to control those things from your Mac rather than through some clunky interface on the display itself. So we can't really hold that against LG completely because very, very few monitors support those things. And if we take that out of the picture, this monitor is great. The colors pop, it is vivid. The display shows very few uh, glares in our studio. We absolutely love it. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, you can find the links down below in the description. But I want to know what you guys think. What is your go-to monitor of choice? Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.